All right, good morning, everyone. It's your boy, Rome. And as promised, today we're going to take a look at the new panel that I did the little um, teaser video for on yesterday. And that panel is from Infinity. So, in a nutshell, you know, let's take a look at exactly what my workflow is like. And I'm assuming that, you know, for most guys, it's going to be basically the same, you know. So, if you're shooting tethered, you know, obviously you're shooting into Capture One or you're shooting into Lightroom, depending on which camera, you know, uh, manufacturer you're using. But we're going we're gonna to skip that part and go all the way to the editing process. So generally, you know, once I've made my selection, um, you know, of images, <clears throat> I would usually go in and start my post work. So that's going to be, you know, cleaning up the image. That's going to be, you know, all the final touches, you know, things like that. So even with this image, this is straight from uh, my Flickr account. And this is an old photo that I shot, oh my God, some, some years ago. But I've always, I always liked this photo. But I'm just going to do, you know, really quick um, what I would do if, for instance, I was using something like this. First, I would go ahead and hit auto just to see what um, camera raw sees. That's a little overexposed for me, but I'm just going to just go ahead and run with it. Okay. So as you can see here, easily enough, you know, you see all of the details in the image. Uh, let's take a look at what the file size is. This file is um, 240 uh, PPI and it is 21 megabytes. Okay, so let's get to it. So normally what I would do if I wasn't using one of the panels that you guys have seen me um, demonstrate here over the last couple of weeks and you know I've gone through Oh, quite a few of them. So my normal workflow would consist of, obviously, you know, I would start off with a healing layer. Then I would go in, you know, from that healing layer and I'd look for all my little imperfections. And I would, you know, choose the tool that I'm going to be using, uh, whether it's going to be, um, you know, something simple that I'm just going to go in and just take out a couple of little simple things, you know, like that. You know, that's, that's the workflow, right? So, in a nutshell, I guess what I'm trying to uh, get to, and I guess I should get to it as rapidly as possible because I'm one of those people, I, I, I can't stand it when people draw out a video. So, if I was using a panel, you know, so here's my little healing um, layer down here. Then the next thing I would do would be something along the lines of maybe frequency separation. And then from there, I would probably do some dodging and burning, you know, just and then, you know, to finish off, I'd, you know, I'd go in and clean up the eyes, the uh, whiten the teeth if necessary, uh, maybe apply like a little bit of, you know, shine to the lips and things like that. So that's about my workflow per image, you know, and of course, you know, if, if there's flyaway hairs, you know, that's going to also be under the healing. I'd go in and clean that up. I don't make this any more complex than it needs to be, you know, for general headshots and things like that. So why am I so interested in this specific um, panel? So if we let's say we look at um, previous panels that I've used really quick. So here is um, the... Um, Retouch Academy's panel. Everything you pretty much need is here. You know, you have your dodge and burn, you have your frequency separation, you have your luminosity mask, you have, um, you know, makeup and hair, you know, things that you can do in here, you know, like for the smile, for the eyes, removing, you know, um, body hair and things like that. And then you have all of your controls down here at the bottom. You can um, assign user actions so if you have a bunch of actions like i do you know you could assign those actions to these buttons if it's something that you use quite often so it, it's all here but what i like the most as i'm experimenting with this trial version of um, this panel is that i see so much potential in a panel that literally has everything that we're looking for and it's very very customizable so as you see here, as um, soon as I open the panel, it get, it's basically telling me, am I going to be using a trial or am I going to enter a license key and make it a permanent um, 
uh, accessible uh, panel. So how do you get this panel? So if you go over to their website, uh, which is Infinity Tools, and you can download the panel. Oh, where is it? Let's go to Store. And here's your panel, the Infinity Retouch panel. And as you see here, out of all the other you know, devices and panels and things that are offered, this is the only one with the trial. So this gives you an opportunity to try out um, the panel and see if it's something that's going to work for you. Now, from what I understand, there is no limit to how long you can use this as a trial, you know, in quotes, um, panel. So once you um, download the file, install it, um, and you know get everything going you know it's that's basically it if you decided you didn't want to purchase it for some reason and you just want to keep you know experimenting with it that that can work now over time you're going to want to have the ability to save features to customize features and things like that and also again from what I've read and what I've watched in a number of the videos um, you won't have those features and the other, you know, problem that I see that is very, very annoying, and I think that's by design, is that every time you start this panel um, after reopening Photoshop, you'll have to make this choice again. So we're just going to click on trial, right? So here's our panel. You know, we have a basic create button, which is basically going to create a number of different folders. But if you have the full version you can then go in and you know choose whatever actions or whatever features you want and then once you just hit create one time and then all of those things will just you know pop right up for you right so let's just for now let's just hit the create button and see what happens right so all i did was hit the create button and we're going to pull this layer stack out so we can get a better look at it so you can see here you have a number of different folders right so you have a help layer you have color and calibration you have I mean color correction you have dodge and burn and then you have a healing um, layer so this is the layer like before you know when I when I clicked on the um, the healing you know if you start from the bottom working your way up you know that's possible depending on your workflow so you would start here with your healing you'd go in and you know make all of your corrections you know for imperfections things like that and then from there, you would go to your dodge and burn. And already here, you know, you have your two layers. And you can, you know, it's, it's just right here for you guys. And then the next, if you do, you know, you're, I'm, I'm sure all of us do to some degree, you know, your color corrections, you know. So you have your color, saturation, and hue. Those layers are available for you. And what's really cool, I like is this help layer. So depending on, you know, how you dodge and burn, um, you have almost everything that you want right here. You know, you have luminosity, you have an invert, you know, where you can see the differences in your tonalities. You have multiply. You have your levels, contrast. You have a solar, which is really cool because, oops, because that also gives you the ability to, again, uh, you know, assess you know, your highlights, your midtones, your shadows, what's going to, you know, depending on how you're dodging and burning or whatever, you know, you're doing for your image, all of that, it makes it that much easier for you to see it on your screen, okay? Um, and then, I mean, there's others, you know, I mean, like I said, you, you know, you have color, because you notice that it kind of like really shows off the skin tone, it, it, you know, identifies the skin tone. And there's a few others, you know, we're not going to go over all of them because then this video would be, you know, you know, two hours long. But the point I'm getting to is it's one panel. Now, I know a lot of you will say, well, you know, I have a panel or I'm using, you know, this other extension panel or whatever it is. And, you know, for right now, guys, I have a ton of them, you know, and I mean, I've gone through so many, you know, I've done the Beauty Retouch, I've done um, uh, Beautify, uh, as well as a number of others, you know, so there's um, the MB 
I, I like a lot of, you know, different, you know, filters or panels for different things. So let's say for frequency separation, you know, this is a really, really good panel here, you know, from uh, MBP, I mean, uh, NBP. And it's very simple. You know, you just basically set your radius, you set your detail threshold, and, you know, you just apply if it's, you know, you know, for what you're, you're working with. So let's just, I'm going to put all these together really quick. And we're just going to create a folder so I can show you what I mean. So let's say here I wanted to use this for um, frequency separation. I could go in and I could set my radius. And you can see here it starts to automatically show you. You could, you know, then adjust your threshold, whatever you want that to be. And you say, okay, yeah, I like that. You know, just hit apply. And then boom, there you go, right? So now you have your, you know, your color, you have your, just basically your transition layer, and then you have your high texture, okay? So you have everything that you need right there, you know, to, to start editing your photo. But the point I'm trying to get at is it doesn't make a difference which panel you use. Just, you know, find something that works within your workflow. What I am suggesting, you know, based on what I'm seeing with this specific panel is that it offers the ability to put all those things in one place. So you have um, a retouching tab. Yes, the other panels have the same thing, you know, but it's the, the math is what makes the difference. So you could look back at some of the older panels and how they applied things, whether it was through Gaussian blur or, uh, you know, a different process and what works for you. Or if you're, you know, you know, creating your own actions or downloading other people's actions and using them. You know, one of the cool things I've always liked about some of these panels is that it comes with a number of actions. So if you wanted to run actions, you know, just right here from your action uh, panel, you could without you ever opening the, the panel itself. You know, that's always going to be a, an option. But I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm experimenting with this, this panel. I don't know if this is going to be something that's going to, you know, stay permanently in my workflow. But I want to always give it um, a chance. So you have a lot going on here. So, you know, here's your healing area. You know, you got normal, light, and hot. I mean, normal, lit, lighten, and darken under healing. So you can choose from any of these. You have frequency separation. You have dodge and burn. You know, here's your helper layer. You know, you could do levels if you wanted to. You can control it from there. Um, you have different tools, you know, so tools for hue, saturation, color, like what we talked about before, you know, looking at these uh, layers here. So you have your sharpening tools. So you have a sharpening, you have a smart sharpening, and, you know, you also have a grain. So depending on what type of images you're creating, it's all in a nutshell. It's just going to speed up your workflow. I think it's worth it for you guys, you know, because there is a free trial. You can just download this and you can install it into your system and just, you know, start, you know, working with it and seeing if it's something that's going to work for your workflow. Now, one problem I did have, you know, this is a M1 Mac that I'm working on. And when I when I initially tried the install, it, it failed. And <clears throat> but there is a manual way where you can just go into your you can copy uh, the manual file into your extensions. Uh, I use my extensions so much that I actually have it here in my side panel so I can just easily access it. But you just literally just, you know, um, take the file and just drag it right into um, your extensions under Adobe. And you can, you can find those. Uh, if you don't know where they are, just, you know, send me a text or something and I'll send you um, a link. Or maybe I'll even put it in the bottom of uh, the video showing you what the path is to get there. But for most of us, you know, on Macs, it's going to be Macintosh, your library, uh, application support, Adobe. It's going to be CEP and then extensions. And that'll get you to this folder. OK, but in a nutshell, I think this is a very powerful tool. Um, different from all the other previous panels that I've worked with, there was no trial. You know, it's either you buy it or you don't, you know, or something like that. So, you know, I think this is amazing that, you know, they're providing this panel for those who want to test it and play with it and see if it's going to be something that can work within their workflow. You know, I think it's worth the investment of your time. And if it works for you, 
you know, for the amount that you're paying for it, you know, I think it's $99, I think it is, let's check. It is $96.75, unless there's something I'm missing here. <clears throat> it looks like it was originally $129, and I don't know if there is an additional promo code or something along those lines that I'm not sure about, you know, so, but... I've seen panels that have, you know, that were $200 and $300, you know, it just depends, you know, which panels you're looking at, you know, so um, it, it's all about the investment, you know, in your workflow and what's going to make your job that much easier. And especially if you're doing a lot of client work, you know, and you want to be able to really rapidly get this stuff out to them, you know, because I, I do a lot of corporate headshots, I do... Um, any number of different, you know, um, client projects, paid projects. So it's essential for me to be able to, um, you know, have the quick turnaround. So I look for and I experiment with a lot of these panels. And like I said, I played with them and I haven't really made a, um, a de definite decision. And if you notice in some of my videos, each video will be different. I'll be using a different panel or use a different uh, action or, you know, vice versa. You know, back in the day, you know, before I started really use, utilizing a lot of these panels, you know, my workflow was a very, very simple one. I would come in with my healing layer. I would go in and correct everything. Then I would jump over here to um, portraiture or something like that. And I'd, I'd just say, okay, well, I'm just going to, you know, soften the skin as you can see there, I don't know how well this is going to translate to YouTube, but you know, you could, you know, get in here really quick, make your selections. Let's see if I can get in here and show you. Make a quick selection and boom, you got softer skin. And that's for the most part, that's all most people want. They want soft skin, they want bright eyes, they want white teeth, you know, they want their hair to be uniformed you know, things like that. And if you can rapidly get that out, you know, without, you know, taking hours per photo, you're going to make more money. And at the end of the day, it is about making money, you know, from a professional perspective. Now, when we get to our creative stuff, that's different. You know, we're more passionate about that. We're willing to spend the time and effort it takes to create, you know, our visions. But when it comes to your corporate clients, they could care less about all of that. They just want a fast turnaround. They want you to come into their office or they come into your studio, get those shots, and they want them back as soon as possible so that they can put them into print or on their websites or whatever the case is going to be. So, in a nutshell, is it worth it? I say yes. Give it a shot. Download it. Install it. And see if it works for you. And if you like it and you're creating something with it, you know, hit me up. Show me what you're doing. You know, do a little behind the scenes videos. You know, maybe we can, you know, start a little trend going where everyone is, you know, showing the way that they're using these panels in their normal workflow. You know, so guys, don't be shy. You know, if you have questions, uh, if I can answer them, I would be more than happy to. Uh, what I want to do and finish off this video here is that if you go to back to their website, um, Let's go back here. So under the documentation for the panel, there is a number of different videos right here that will walk you through literally everything you would want to know about this panel. So whether it's the creation button, renaming files, different tools, each one of these has a different video. So if you wanna look at something about sharpening, it's all there. And if you follow them on YouTube, you could just go in and I'm sure at some point they're going to create just a playlist and you could just sit back, you know, on your smartphone, your tablet or, you know, like I do a lot of times I send video to the to the television in the living room or in, up in my office and I just watch and, hey, I'm not too proud to say I just follow along and that's how I learn a lot of times. All right, guys. So it's been your boy Rome. I'm going to bring this video to an end. OK, and I want you guys to remember to stay safe, take care of yourselves and more importantly than anything else, create something amazing and share it. Share the knowledge, share the wealth. That's how we grow. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Until then, peace. I'm out. <laughs>